Hush, young grasshopper. Those who do not believe in the skeleton army luck. Let's watch this clip. Uh, you know what? For the army, for my crew. Ah! Uh, <gasps> Demon! I am a demon! What the flip? How? How does that even happen? How? I had 12,000 coins. Literally, my luck, it makes no sense. I am single-handedly, it's, undis it's undisputed. I am literally the luckiest player. You're telling me that I have a literal 0.03% chance of summoning this unit. It's gone. It's not even there anymore. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
Why are you so tall? Dude, you are a demon. You know what? I was so confident that in this update, they were going to add the Golden Titan Speaker Man. Um, they added him instead. I am not mad. Also, his axe is a guitar. Dude, this guy was literally made for me. He is my unit. This, I, I think I've said this every update now. This might be my new favorite unit. I actually think I'm in love with the axe upgraded Titan Cameraman, but like not in a weird way. Is bro wearing a Speedo? Wait a minute. Dude, put some pants on or something, bruh. Either way, at level one, he's doing 7,000. No, he's doing 3,500 damage per second with the range of 30, but he is doing that juicy pierce damage. So at level two, let's go ahead and find out. It's only 2,000 upgrade. Does he put on pants? Um, no, but he put on shin guards. Congratulations. He also got some chest protection and did his axe get a little bit more accessories? Maybe. I don't really know. But, whoa, that upgrade was insane. His level 2 upgrade made him start doing 10,000 damage per second, and it upgraded his range a little bit. Not too bad. So, 3,000 in. He's already a very viable unit. Let's go ahead and upgrade him one more time. And this time, it looks like he did put on a pair of pants, except these are just longer boxers. Congratulations, you found how to put on pants. Also, bro just decided to put a shotgun on his wrist. Oh, no, those are claws. Claws that shoot bullets, I think? Bro is just the jack of all trades. He literally just has it all. And as you upgrade him, it looks like he gets the jetpack. I still can't believe I summoned this guy. Literally, I've never summoned a godly before. Hand on my heart, hand on my chest. I literally never summoned a UTTV. I hate to admit it, I have spent a million coins in the summoning chamber. Literally never, never summoned a UTTV. With 12,000 coins, I summoned the axe. What is my luck? Literally. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hopeless luck is so real. Either way, let's go ahead and upgrade him again. Get him up to that 4,000. So now he's doing like 30,000 damage per second with a range of 50. And he has 16 stun protection, and he's playing his axe guitar. Wait, wait, his attack, his animation. Nah, I'm not rocking with that animation. That, dude, that's giving me animatronic Five Nights at Freddy's vibes. Why is he glitching like that? Bruh, it's like the hyper creatine speaker man where he flops like a fish, dude. No! Quit it with the wacky- You know what? I kind of actually- It's growing on me. It's growing on me. I'm starting to like it a little bit more. All right, what about his level five animation? Oh, it's even worse now. It's even worse now. Dude, I'm imagining he's playing the coolest song ever. Dude, the animations where they just- He's- He's glitching. He doesn't know where to look. Oh my gosh. This poor innocent soul. This poor axe didn't ask for this. Either way, it is already almost wave 30. I need to keep upgrading this guy, even if I want to enjoy it. So I think at level 6, all I got was that Swirly Whirly, and all of his upgrades have been relatively cheap so far. Is level 7 his max level? It is. So he's a pretty cheap unit to upgrade. He goes only up to level 7, but his most expensive upgrade only was 12,000. That was, you know, pretty tame. I'm going to be completely honest. Extremely reasonable unit. And his range goes all the way out to here. Slap this down with the Astro and I'm going to be honest. I think this might be a new meta strategy. That axe is so cool, dude. Axe upgraded Titan Speaker, man. Oh, you're so cool. You know, I just realized I have swords and axes and lasers against toilets. How do I not win? We will win through the power of music. Yeah, this, anim yeah, this animation just isn't hidden, right? I don't- it, it was growing on me, it fell off. This axe, though, might be the tallest unit in the game. Or is it the same height as Aqua? I don't know, it's- the legs- the legs are goofy. Also, at level 1, that's just not right. It just- it really- it really is just a little bit wrong. Alright, let's run the math, let's do the numbers. How much does this guy fully cost to upgrade? That's 3,000, that's 6,000, that's 10,000. This is 18,000, this is 28,000. And then it is going to be 40,000 to fully upgrade. 40,000 to place and fully upgrade for 130,000 damage per second in Pierce? Um, yeah, I would say this unit's pretty freaking good. The range of 70, this literally is just the better version of the Titan Beach Ball Man, no? This is what the Titan Beach Ball Man wishes he could be. He's just not. Wait, I just realized something. Imagine this team with the Titan Fan Man. Game over. Game over. You're never losing. 
You're literally just never gonna lose. How could you lose? I will admit, I probably could place my axes in better positioning because pierced units are a little bit techy. You have to be smart with the way you place them. And I really wasn't. I just really wanted to see what he looked like fully maxed out. And checking him out fully maxed out, we did. Shut up, Siri. I don't care. I will admit, with the amount of damage I'm doing, it is surprising how far some of these toilets are getting down the track. I feel like they should be getting killed a lot sooner, but that could just be me waffling. Hey, I do waffle a lot, to be fair. Either way, I'm sure you guys are as curious as I am. How well does the Axe Upgrade Titan Cameraman do against the Wave 50 Giant Smooth Toilet? As you can see, the Giant Smooth Toilet has actually made it pretty far down the track and hasn't really taken that much damage. It probably would be a good idea if I had one of these attack strongest. So we're gonna have that attack the strongest which should help out quite a bit. And we have our Astro still just attacking first. So the Astro is targeting the Giant Smooth Toilet right now. With that being said, the Giant Smooth Toilet got pretty far down the track. And that is where we're going to conclude the video today. If you guys want to see the Axe in any different situation, let me know where you want to see him. I would love to use him more. But I'm just trying to go live so I can get clan tryouts ready to go. I'll keep this game going in the background. And if I beat it by the time, or if I keep playing, I'll let you know what wave I get to in the comments or in the description. Either way, my luck is insane. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Subscribe so we can get to 100,000 subscribers before the channel turns one year old. And I'll see you guys all again later, hopefully. All right, bye.